Hello people around the world, this is Eric. Today I want you to show how you can make a simple shape with CSS, how to animate them and then how to edit into Ecamm Live as a widget overlay for your new scene. And yes, of course, you can use it as a web tutorial or for OBS. Let's start. Okay, let's start. I'm here in Dreamweaver, my favorite code editor. And this is the base structure of HTML. Here you have the part for CSS and here between the body tag you have to add the HTML code. And let's start. We create a simple div class called shape. That's all for the HTML part. Okay, the first thing we have to do is style the body part, the main part of the HTML uh, site. And this is body. And then we have to create a transparent background. And we use the background tag. Background RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0. That's all. That's really important because this is the transparent background. If you use this page, this HTML page for widget overlay in Ecamm Live or in OBS, then you have to make a transparent background. Don't forget it. And now we can create the shape. Use the same class name as before in the HTML section and use these brackets. And then add for the following code in this file. Position relative. Then we want to have a little space between the top and the left side. And we can use that with top. 20 pixel left 20 pixel that's enough and if you want you can create more space of course and then I create a normal square with the width and the height of 200 300 pixel and how can I do that that's easy create height or height sorry, <laughs> 300 pixel and width 300 pixel. And now we have already created this shape. Now we can add a background color. And then you have use the hex code. In coding and web design, we use as a color the hex codes like FF5733. It's like um, orange or a, um, a clear red. And now you have to choose your color. Uh, for example, you can use the, uh, the following uh, website like here, htmlcolorcodes.com. And here you can choose your color. We use a little green here. So, and here you find the hex code. Copy this and add it to your HTML code. And now add this hex code here into the background. And on the beginning of this code, you have to add some hash tag. And as you can see here, this is your created shape with the height and the width of 300 pixel and a space of 20 pixel and 20 pixel in top and on the left side. Okay, and now let's create a border. Uh, use border, then the size of the border, I use 10 pixel. 
then I use uh, the color or I edit the color. Uh, I use black. You can add black or zero, 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 and then add solid. And as you can see here, this is the shape and the border with 10 pixel width, 10 pixel size and color of black. Now, if you're satisfied with these results, then you can skip the next part and go to the category uh, when I told you or explain you how you can add this shape, this little HTML file into your Ecamm Live. And if you're watching this, now I show you how you can change the form of the square into a circle. That's really easy. It's only one code. And for that, we use the border radius code and add 50%. And as you can see, the square is now a circle. And if you change this number to 20 or 10, you can see the corner of the square is a little bit rounder till 50% and then it's complete round. That's the secret of a circle. It's basically a shape with rounded corner. Okay, now we animate this little border and we'll change it or blink it like black and red, black and red again, again. And for that we use the following code, animation, then a name of this animation, uh, blinking. And now the duration of this animation I use two seconds. And then we will change it li uh, linear and infinite. Infini infinite, I think. And that's all. Now we create some uh, keyframes. That's it. That is really simple. Use keyframes, then the name, blinking, and then the curly brackets. And we start with 0% of course and end it with 100%. That's also nothing new. And now we start with this border here, like that. And the end result is the same but we use a new color code like this one. Okay, so and so. Okay, and now I forgot to add this little add symbol before the keyframes. And as you can see here, the animation has already started. And as you can see here, the animation is not beautiful enough for me. Uh, if uh, it's complete pink, then it starts abruptly to black and again and again. That's not nice. And for that, we create the color, the new color in the center of the animation. It sounds complicated, but it's all it's not. Okay, we change it here and 100 are the same like the 0% and as you can see here the animation is now smoothly changing uh, from black to pink to black to pink. Okay, and that it's for this little tutorial, as you can see here, uh, here you can add the size of your shape. 
if you want it to um, to create a circle, you know the uh, the border radius code now, and here is the simple animation. And now we have to upload this little HTML file into your website, into your web server. And now when I open the file in the web server like this, you can see the whole HTML file with the animation. And now we edit it into Ecamm Live. Okay, now we are here in Ecamm Live. I change to the live demo mode and as you can see here I created a new scene, a blank scene with one background, a background image like that. And now we can add this URL with a widget overlay. Okay, I copy this URL here and then I open the widget overlay add the new URL here and then I create or I add the width, I say 500 pixel width and height and then add the overlay. And as you can see here, the animation works. And now I can add a new camera overlay with me here. Hello. I change the shape to a square. And then I can add this here in this file. Okay, simple as that. And now you're asking yourself why we use the widget overlay. Uh, why not create a simple uh, canvas or a picture for a background? Yes, that's a really nice question and it's a simple answer. If you want to change the position of such um, an overlay, you have to create a new image animate it and then add it here into this little picture in this little scene. But if you add it via uh, the widget overlay, you can just replace it like that in just some few clicks and mouse, cl uh, mouse strokes. And if you use it or if you want to add a new person, an interviewee into this little scene, you can use also multiple uh, overlays. Okay, we can create that. I copy this URL, create a new one. Interview, add the name, add the size of this frame and then I have a second overlay and when I activate the interview mode I can create here the guest one for this animation and now like that I have two animated border around the guest and myself. Okay, now you know how to create a simple shape, a round shape or a, a square shape, how to add a little border and color it and how to animate this little border. I hope you enjoy this little video here in my little YouTube channel, in my first English YouTube channel. Please subscribe my channel, uh, give a thumb up or down. I need your feedback. Please comment it below in the comment section. And then I see you again in the next video. Bye.